Hello everyone, in today's video I am going to be talking about a new game called Deadlock. Deadlock is a game that is being made by Valve and everyone thought Deadlock was going to be a game kind of like Overwatch uh, or Marvel Rivals or Concord which is one of the newer games we just made a video on. As you can see here in this SteamDB page, Deadlock is doing much better than even things like Marvel Rivals I'm pretty sure. Actually, let me just quickly check that. Yes, even Marvel Rivals, who had a 52,000 player peak with 89,203 player peak of, of Deadlock, it seems to be that Deadlock is doing a much better. But it's also, I think, also because of the type of game Deadlock is. Deadlock is not a team-based first-person hero shooter. Deadlock is a third-person MOBA-inspired hero shooter. And it's one of those things where other than games like Smite, I actually don't know what's really in the competition for Deadlock other than games like League of Legends or Dota 2. But like the game genres are so... The perspective change is so big that it does feel like it is just a different game. And I think that's the biggest advantage that Deadlock has over like think for instance over something like concord and there's some other things we're going to talk about as well but like i think one of the big differences is that it, there's just not a lot of competition like other than smite i don't know really another third person moba shooter um i honestly can't think of anyone and it also helps that i think in from what i can tell i haven't played a full i do have access to deadlock but i haven't been able to play a game just yet but even just watching the game, I've watched Deadlock and I've watched Concord. And I know more about Deadlock, Deadlock's characters, than Concord. Because, like, the characters just have more personality during the game. And maybe it's because, like, it's the game's also, like, longer. The games are longer in Deadlock. Because it's a MOBA, so games last, like, 30 to 40 minutes um, if it's a close game. And at Deadlock, some games can be over in, like, I think the longest Deadlock thing I've seen is, like, 10 minutes. But I think the main one is that it is just a different genre, and it isn't just a Overwatch first-person hero shooter. I really do think that one of the biggest things that Deadlock has over other games, like Marvel Rivals or Concord or even um, Overwatch 2, is that it's in a different genre. Everyone thought it was going to be competing against these games, but honestly, it's not really. Honestly, it's more competing against Dota 2 and League of Legends, which is kind of funny because Dota 2 is made by Valve as well. But it's just such a different... Like, the main competition, I feel like, is Smite. But the thing is, is that from what I can tell, Deadlock is more of a third-person shooter than Smite is. Because the last time I played Smite, there wasn't really... Sh it wasn't really a third-person shooter. It was a MOBA game in a third-person perspective. But... Deadlock is a third-person shooter with MOBA aspects in a MOBA game, like a framework. But the shooting is a big deal in MOBA. Like, being good at aim and being good at the, the third-person shooting is a big deal. Like, in Smite, from the last time I played it, you know, being good at aim is a thing, but you're more aiming abilities more than just, like, actual shooting mechanics. And from what I can tell, when it comes to things like the 6v6 matchmaking from what i can tell it actually it makes so much sense and i kind of want other games to do this maybe in games well obviously you can't change your hero in deadlock so it can't work in games like overwatch and stuff but instead of queuing for a game and then getting to a game and then picking a hero you pick the hero first like league of legends or dota 2 where you pick your hero champion or i don't know what they're, they're called in dota honestly but like, you pick your hero first, and you put them in tier lists of, I want this one, priority, I want this one as a secondary, and I want this one as a third. And if, because oh, from what I can tell, there's only one character in the game per match, so you can only have one hero per match. There are no duplicate heroes. So if you can't find someone with your main one, you, you can you get your secondary one. Or you can just only select one hero and say, I'm willing to wait for a game until I can play this hero. <coughs> Which honestly, I think is a genius. And I think more games should do it. 
if they can, because I understand that some games can't do that because of the way it works. Obviously, like games like Overwatch, you switch heroes all the time, so you can't do something like that in Overwatch. But like, I feel like this style of thing, definitely in this since it's a MOBA, pick one hero, no changing, definitely works. And the fact that everyone seems to love this game is a really big deal, I think. Because honestly, for first of all, it's Valve. Valve is making this game, so like it's gonna have a big, big audience on Steam to begin with. And it's almost guaranteed to be free to play. Um, and honestly, it wouldn't even surprise me if they just give all the heroes for free as well. Like Dota 2 has that as well. I, I don't even know. Honestly, I don't know how Dota 2 makes money. I actually don't. Because I don't think do they even I don't even know if they sell skins. I I honestly am very detached from Dota 2. So I don't know, but you could definitely sell skin character skins in this game, but just give everything away for free, like in terms of heroes. And you also don't need really to make maps for this game because it's a MOBA, right? So everyone expects when you're playing a MOBA, you're playing one map. You don't play multiple maps on MOBAs, almost guaranteed. There could be multiple. I'm not saying they can't make multiple maps, but I'm sure there's going to be a one primary map like in Dota 2 or League of Legends. The only game that I know of that uses multiple maps is here of the storm. And that game just makes, it makes me sad when I think about it. So I'd rather not talk about it right now, but I think the outreach of people that's playing the game is also big as well. Cause all types of players can play in this game. Like I've seen a ton of overwatch content creators play this game. Uh, FPS people are coming over. Honestly, I don't see a lot of them staying because the problem, the biggest problem this game's going to have is that it is a MOBA and all MOBA games have that problem of there's a huge, there's a gigantic um, knowledge check for all MOBA games. And that's part of like, it's part of the skill expression, knowing what everything does and like being able to identify that type of stuff. Every game has a knowledge check, but. MOBAs have there's just so much knowledge that you need to know that it's probably going to be a big deal but the thing is is like a lot of people like that I mean Dota 2 and League of Legends are some of the most popular games in the world other than like Fortnite and like they're like they are they're the top played games ever like Dota 2 is like the I think Dota 2 is like literally the most played game on Steam I'm almost positive I'll just quickly check so right now, Dota 2 is number two in terms of most played right now. The only game beating it is Counter-Strike 2, which makes sense to me. So I have high hopes. I'll be playing this game, and I might be making a follow-up video talking about my experiences with it and stuff like that. But this, I am very interested to see where this game goes. The 6v6, four lanes as well, with the whole game being four lanes. There's a jungle. There's basically... I, I've, I've played League of Legends personally in terms of the MOBAs, so like there's Baron... I see jungle creeps. There doesn't seem to be junglers, though. It's one, two, two, one in terms of lanes. Uh, and there's two mids. And there does seem to be like the, you know, the tanky, the bruiser, tanky top laner, the more ability magic. There does seem to be like a tank DPS healer style thing or more like a tank DPS support. <clears throat> but the pro but the thing is, is like there's six players. So technically but there is also no roll lock so it's interesting to see how that's going to develop but that's more of like a meta thing um i'll be probably most likely playing support or something that can heal just because that's the type of style i like to play in terms of these types of games but we'll see we'll see you know, who knows maybe i turn out to be i'm actually a dps player in this game but we'll see but the skill expression and everything like that will be really interesting to see as well because for, from what i can tell <clears throat> the item shops it gives you, it boosts, the items you can buy are very detailed and they can give you stats just like any other MOBA and they buff your stuff. And so like there is also just like, there, there's knowledge, but there's also just stat diff. So like snowballing and stuff like that, I'm sure it, uh, is a thing. And it's just going to be interesting to see how they can deal with that or if that's just a thing. I mean, all MOBAs have that. Like eventually sometimes you're just too far behind and you don't have the items and there's only so much skill you can do when you enemy has more stats than you. But that's also kind of like a genre thing, right? And from what I can tell, there's no surrender in Deadlock, uh, but it's also early days, very early days. It's closed beta. It's closed testing with invite only. So, I mean... 
this game who knows how long ago how long it is for to release so we don't know but that is going to be it for today's video thank you everyone for watching i'll be keeping an eye on this maybe we'll do a couple more videos it's just interesting to see how this game is skyrocketing in popularity and it still makes me sad about Concord because I feel like Concord should have had a chance, but it doesn't. But I'm not even giving a chance because I'm not willing to pay for it. So, you know, maybe I'm part of the problem. But anyway, thank you all for watching. If you would like to subscribe, hit the follow, uh, comment down below if you're interested in Deadlock or if you're interested in a third person MOBA game. Other than that, uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all of those other socials. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in another video. Goodbye, everyone.